Hello everyone, and welcome to a, hopefully, quick tutorial to address some questions I've been getting asked quite frequently lately. Uh, on today's agenda, we have uh, importing Halo models into SFM, wa uh, the walking animations I had for my second animation test, and how to lock a weapon to a character's hand. Alright, just a quick note here. Uh, this tutorial is for people who know what they are doing in Source Filmmaker. If you do not know what you're doing in Source Filmmaker, go ahead and educate yourself on SourceFilmmaker.com. There are a whole bunch of t tutorials there, and uh, you can get yourself started really easily. There's a lot of impressive stuff you can do with Source Filmmaker. Um, so let's get started here. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do to get these Halo models into SFM is to go to Garry'sMod.org. Not Garry'sMod.com, Garry'sMod.org. In the search bar right here, type in Halo. And these are the models that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the Massive Chief, NPC, and SWEPS. Uh, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm not too familiar with Gmod uh, prior to uh, Source Filmmaker. So SWEPS, SWEPS, whatever they are, download this file. And uh, I'm pretty sure the Halo, the, uh, the Halo weapons from this pack are the exact same in this pack, but I haven't downloaded this one, so we're just going to stick with this for today. And if we scroll down here, we're going to download the ODST NPCs by uploaded by Ozone6 here. So if you download those. Uh, for the sake of time, I have already downloaded these, and I've already put them in my uh, user mod folder. So if you download those files, and then you extract everything to a folder on your computer, doesn't exactly matter where, um, I'm just going to open up the ODST folder right here. And inside, after you've extracted, you should have the materials folder the, and the models folder. Uh, there's this LUA folder that I'm not exactly sure what it's for. If you do know, tell me in a comment. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy these and drag them into your user mod folder here. Your user mod folder should be located wherever you installed Steam. So for me, it's on my C drive, go to program files, go down to Steam, go to Steam apps, common, and if we scroll down to source filmmaker, then game, and user mod. This is where you're going to drag them all. So you drag them into here. I have, once again, for the sake of time, I've already installed all of these models onto my computer. So um, if you were actually doing this for the first time, or when you actually do this for the first time, sorry, um, when you do this for the first time, you will need to uh, merge your folders, because there will already be a materials folder and a models folder. But for now, I'm just going to cancel this action. And if there are any files that uh, you come across that it says, do you want to overwrite this model, um, I would just keep both models. So I'm just going to minimize these for now. Now if we go back to garysmod.org, search Halo again, we can go to the Master Chief and SWEPs, or SWEPs, whatever you want to call it. Download that zip folder, extract the files, and then place those folders in your user mod folder like I just showed you. Then go ahead and open up Source Filmmaker. If you had Source Filmmaker open before uh, you put those models into your user mod folder, what you should do is um, close Source Filmmaker and then open it again uh, for the changes to take effect. So now that we are in Source Filmmaker, go to your animation set editor over here and click on Create Animation Set for New Model. Search bar here, we're going to go ahead and type in ODST. And today, let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, let's use, uh, let's use the ODST standard. And congratulations, you have now successfully brought a Halo model into Source Filmmaker. Now, on to our next question of the day. Uh, how did I get those fancy walking animations in my second animation test? So, if we go ahead and we right-click on the ODST standard, go to Import, and then, oh, sorry, Import, Sequence. So if you go to this drop-down menu, you can see a whole bunch of animations already built into this model. So let's go all the way down to walk underscore all. We're going to use that for this tutorial. And as you can see right here, we now have, if we go into the motion editor, we can see we now have this path for the ODST to follow. And if we just scrub ahead a little bit here, you can see that he's now walking. But of course, we want to have him not exactly walking through a wall like he's going to do right here. And we want to be walking on the ground, unlike he's doing right here. So, how do we do that? We just go ahead, we select the ODSC standard, click that yellow square, press shift, and drag to lock him to the world. Or at least put him to the plane. If we press E, we can uh, 
just switch them around right here so he actually walks across the room. You can just press R to switch back to the screen rotate tool, and then we're going to move him into place. All right, so now that we have him in place, now onto our last question of the day. Oh, sorry, I'm moving away a little bit here. Uh, we're going to put a pistol in his hand. So, if you downloaded those uh, weapons correctly, you should have them in your user mod folder. Let's go to Create Animation Set for New Model in the Animation Set Editor, and go ahead and type in M6D. And you should come across, I'm not sure where I got this model from, but it might have been included in that one that I told you guys to download. But anyways, I'm going to download this pistol, we're going to go to Open. And now we now have it in our uh, scene here. So we're going to go to the work camera here, and I'm just going to scrub ahead in time. Actually, we're just going to click con Control and move this into place. And as you guys should probably already know, if you don't, I'll just tell you right now, if you Alt-click, Alt then click on your item, you can rotate around it. And if you click on it and then press Alt, you can and then uh, move your mouse either left or right, you'll be able to move it closer to or further away from the camera. Now I'm just going to scrub ahead in time here so I can show you guys how I put these pistols in the ODST's hands. And there we go, that looks pretty good for now. I'm just doing it pretty rough uh, right now. So anyways, I'm just going to back up right here. And uh, I'm just actually going to attach this camera to our ODST here, just to make this a little more cinematic. And I'll uh, cut ahead to that right now. Alright, unfortunately Source Filmmaker has crashed. Uh, one of the ill disadvantages of being in a public beta. Luckily, I have done multiple takes of this tutorial. Uh, so I'll just backtrack a little bit and I'll cut ahead to uh, where we were. Alright, so now we're back where we were before. Sorry for that little buggy interruption there. Alright, so what I did here was I just attached a few lights to fill in some of the darkness around our ODST, and I also added a camera to track along with him. But now that we have our, our uh, let me just switch to the work camera here, we now have our pistol in place, but unfortunately, oh look, uh, he doesn't actually, doesn't actually move. Alright, so what are we going to do to fix that? We're going to open up the M6D here. We're going to go to the body here, and we're going to open up the root transform. Now what we're going to do is, since we've, attract, we've attached it to his right hand, we're going to go to R underscore hand right here under the arms for the ODST standard. We're going to drag that to the root transform. And, once again, oh, it doesn't actually move. Okay, so what do we do to fix that? Once again, we select the M6D and we go to the playhead preset here. We drag that all the way to the right, otherwise known as just dragging it 100%, and making sure that we have all of time selected. If we don't have all of time selected, as exemplified here, you just press Control A to lock everything to the sides of the screens, making time, selecting all of time. This should be very self-explanatory to you if you have completed the tutorial. So now, we can see, if we play this back, He's now walking with our pistol. And there's a little bit of lag. Once again, cutting back to our tip from before. Actually, no, I haven't told you in this take. Um, here's a little tip. <laughs> Sorry, I've done multiple takes of this, and all of them have gone horribly wrong. Uh, if you, My little tip for getting rid of some uh, camera motion lag while trying to uh, edit is to load up the game and with F11, and then close it again, and that sh fixes quite a bit of lag for me, in the past it has, at least. So now we play it back. Look, he's walking with a pistol. Magnificent. Alrighty. So that concludes our tutorial for the day, everyone. Uh, hopefully you can stop uh, asking me uh, those same questions. If you have any new questions to ask me, um, go ahead and leave it in a comment. Um, other than that, I am working on some more animation tests and some more videos, uh, live action videos. And um, this is my first tutorial, by the way. Uh, first tutorial I've ever done, and I did like six takes. Uh, tell me how I did. You guys have a good day.